this is going to be a relatively quick unboxing. This is the Seagate Momentus XT, and it is an unbagging rather more than an unboxing. This is a 320 gigabyte version of the drive, but it's available in a few different capacities, and this is a revolutionary device. The reason is because, and you can see that when I open it up, it will come out of the bag, and it will be two and a half inches, and it will have a SATA interface, or SATA 2 rather, power and data, and then jumpers. But so far I haven't shown you anything revolutionary about it. What's revolutionary about this is actually what's under the hood. This is a magnetic drive, that's why you get a nice high capacity at a very reasonable price, but it also has a small 4 gig SSD built in. Now that doesn't mean that you actually get uh, any significant capacity boost, you're not adding the SSD for that. You're adding the SSD built in in order to get a speed boost. So while you won't quite get the speed of an SSD, you won't be stuck with the speed of a hard drive. Now I'm also going to explain a little bit how all this works. We've had cache on hard drives for a very, very long time. Cache acts as a way for the hard drive to take frequently access data and throw it onto a much faster storage medium so that for for like a quick random read or a quick random write you can use the cache to, for much faster performance than if you actually had to wait for the disk to rotate for the arm to seek and for it to find that bit of data now what an SSD allows us to do is have a much larger cache. Typically, even on a high-end desktop drive these days, you're going to see only about a 32 meg to a 64 meg cache. So when we start introducing a 4 gigabyte SSD cache, that, eh, well, it's not as fast as normal cache, but it is much bigger and it does give much, much better performance for small random reads and writes versus magnetic. Okay, so basically what Seagate's aiming to do with this is take some of the very frequently used data, things like your OS, so you can reduce things like boot time as well as very frequently asked uh, accessed programs and you can speed up the performance of this drive and then you can also just have regular performance when you load on your main programs and your any sort of large data storage files. So what they're doing on a micro scale is what a lot of people have been doing for a while is they're taking a small SSD and using it as their boot drive for their boot drive and their critical applications and then they're installing a separate magnetic hard drive in their system for mass storage. Well now it's all in one unit. Very cool.